What's up, Insiders? Today we're here with Lavro, who's going to talk to us about what the Studio Mobile team has been up to these past couple of months since they launched Dark Mode, and what we can expect for the rest of 2020 and going into 2021 as well. So welcome to the show, Lavro. Hey, Insiders. Thanks a lot for having us on the show. We're really happy to talk about mobile. OK, so the last time we spoke to you, we had just unveiled Dark Mode for Studio Mobile. What has the team been up to since then? Yeah, sure. So. Um... The Studio Mobile team has recently like started focusing on mobile again. And so there have been a lot of like cleanups we needed to do. So in the beginning of the year, we talked about YouTube analytics. So we introduced um, your latest video performance, impressions, click-through rates, headlines, and dark mode. And since then, we have been really working hard on launching a new metadata editor. So better editing your title, description, visibility. So we have a new UI and we have a better tech stack so we can build more features for you. OK, so the team has actually been up to a lot. Can we expect anything else for 2020? Yo, absolutely. So our team is working on a couple of more things. So one is comment sorting. Uh, we will improve on the video page. So when you go to a video, you click on comments of that video, you usually see your video sorted by most recent. And now we will switch that that you can select between most recent or your top comments. In addition, we'll bring sorting and filtering of videos to the video list. So you can better sort by publish date or number of views or your privacy. And it will allow us to bring even more filters like number of views, comments, copyrights, and so on. We also are launching the known issues card. So if there's any outage on YouTube Studio, you will actually be able to see that. So that covers the Studio Mobile app. But what can we expect in main app? Are there any improvements? Oh, that's actually a really good point. So all these improvements are in the YouTube Studio app. So that's a separate app from the YouTube main app. But in the YouTube main app, there's the mobile upload flow. And our team is also working on this one. So we also bring this new metadata editor to the mobile upload flow. And you will now be able to schedule immediately while you upload for the video to be published later today. And you will be able to immediately set your made for kids setting there. So that will make it much easier for you. And last but not least, you'll also be able to immediately add your video to different playlists while you upload. So we really hope that improves your workflow. So we're launching a ton of features in the next year, which brings me to my next question. How are we thinking about studio mobile versus desktop? Can we expect parity eventually? Yeah, this is a really good question. We really want creators to be able to thrive independently of the surface they choose. So the goal of our team is to bring journey parity to mobile. Uh, we are partnering with many different teams to achieve that. But as you, as you might imagine, there are so many things uh, we are doing. So our team is really trying to maximize what we think is most important for you, what you will use most frequently, so that the mobile experience will improve as rapidly as possible. So given that, what does the team have planned for 2021? Oh, wow, well, we have so many ideas. <laughs> And I think what is great about this channel, I love the connection that we have with the creators. And I would really actually like you guys to kind of like help us and vote on a couple of ideas. We would love to do like a small poll after um, this video. And here are a couple of candidates I will, I will list for you guys. The first candidate is to bring resolution flows to mobile. So copyright strikes, brand safety appeals. When you see them, you can uh, see them in the app. You don't even see them today. And you can like appeal on them in the app. So that's the first one. The second one would be more monetization settings, like ad settings, merge, membership. The third one would be better commenting functionalities, for example, smart replies, comment badges, a better comment dashboard card. The fourth one would be a better dashboard in general. Like today, it has very few cards. The UI is not optimal, so we can just like improve the whole dashboard. Um, we were also thinking about the, like what's new in studio entry point where you can like click and see all the latest update in the app. Maybe you think this is helpful. Um, there are three more. <laughs> One is more analytics. So a better real time report since published metrics and audience interest cards. Another one, which is more about the, the navigation. We know there is always the site navigation, which is kind of like a hamburger menu and it clicks, it opens. We think it would be easier for you guys if you just can tap on the bottom, like have a bottom navigation, quickly switch between analytics, comments, and other things. And last but not least, we really feel the app is not driving a lot of motivation. So we are thinking about bringing motivational milestones. So I mean, if you have other ideas you would love to us to bring to the app, let us know. But we will kind of like ask you to 
uh, vote on these uh, in, a, in a post. Wow. So we have a lot of ideas for 2021, and we'd love the CI Nation's feedback on which ones we should prioritize. So personally, I would love to see more analytics, but I'd love to hear what the, the nation thinks as well. So we'll make sure to leave a poll in our community tab. And uh, thanks for coming on the show. Until next time, keep it real. Yeah, thanks a lot, Lauren, for having me. And thanks, everyone, for listening. And let us know in the comments what you want to have on mobile.